Street art, to me, uh, is, is an outlet for people to express themselves artistically, painting-wise, in a non-traditional environment. Uh, artists, not every single artist in the world, but usually artists create art and they want people to see it. Well, where better of a place for people to see art than in the streets? Force them to look at it. Uh, take it out of the galleries, and galleries that people might not ever go into, and force them to look at it on the street, which is great for the artists. They get their art seen and great for the people. Maybe they get to see some art that uh, they really appreciate that maybe they'd never see uh, had, they, had they not seen it in the street because a lot of people just don't go to art galleries. You're preconditioned not to like. You've just been told tags are ugly, they're uh, criminal, uh, vandalism, they're illegal. Um, so you're, you, you've never really, uh, I think a lot of people don't think about whether or not they like tags. Next time you walk by a door full of tags, stop, give it 60 seconds, just stare at that door for a little while. You might find some typography that you think is really cool. Maybe uh, an artist has written a little poem uh, or a message that you agree with. Uh, I was living here in Barcelona and I needed a job. Uh, at the time I was an illegal alien and I knew I needed to uh, work cash in hand under the table and tour guiding is a great way to make tips. And uh, through a friend I was talking about just taking over her job as a tour guide. And through that conversation, I mentioned a tour I went on in Berlin in 2010, the Alternative Berlin Tour. It's all about street art, graffiti, and skateboarding. And uh, what an awesome tour it was. And she said that she had a lot of people on her tours that talk about that tour. And I said, wait a minute, is anybody doing a graffiti tour here in Barcelona? And as it turns out, there was not. So uh, I, I knew I knew it would work, uh, but I didn't know anything about graffiti. So that's why I have a partner, Joaquim. Uh, he's the uh, the street art graffiti gallery artist, uh, has a degree in art, and uh, yeah, he kind of taught me everything I need to know. I think after the death of the uh, the dictator Franco, uh, the country and especially the city of Barcelona kind of went through a cultural renaissance, so to speak. Uh, you know, they were able to speak Catalan again. Uh, they could make their local cuisine again. Uh, people started playing music in the streets, and people started painting in the streets. Um, and I think it was an overall feeling of just kind of happiness that this guy was gone, and uh, people started bringing, bringing things back out into the street. And different, different artists paint for different reasons. Generally speaking, here in Barcelona on the tour, we uh, say Barcelona style. We define it as happy, bright, colorful, a little bit childlike, a little bit naive. Uh, of course, there's other pieces that are completely opposite to that here in Barcelona, but generally speaking, it kind of follows that, uh, that definition. And, and during the, uh, the financial crisis uh, that ended a few years back, uh, a, lot of, a lot of people were very, very poor here in Barcelona, especially in the neighborhood of Poblenó and uh, a lot of uh, uh, warehouses, buildings that were left abandoned started getting taken over by, you know, poor people, uh, squatters, sometimes gypsies, and artists sometimes too. And they would take over these spaces and uh, uh, turn them into not only their homes or the place that they were working out of, but also canvases, uh, uh, painting on these buildings and getting their art up there. 